saw a film yesterday. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What was it about? I don't know. I thought about you the entire time. That's cute. You're not gonna stay a little bit longer? Nancy, I got shit to do. Peter and Nancy had been sleeping together for exactly one week and a half. They met at a concert that Peter gave with his tuba trio, to which Nancy had been invited by Bendula, a mutual friend. Nancy had hundreds of men on her mind. Tommy, Joe, Jeffrey, Bobby, Ashka. <laughs> but the thing you gotta understand about the tuba is that, like, it's the big daddy of the band, you know, like the. The low bass, the big bottle. It's like those girls down in Brazil, in Rio. The bigger their ass, the heavier the group. But nobody understands that. So yeah, it's difficult to be a tuba player in a full ensemble. Or you always end up feeling unappreciated. Nobody claps after the tuba solo. It's really disheartening. Really not. Yeah, man. It fucking sucks. You should tell me all about it. We should do. We should move to New York together. <sighs> Live in the Chelsea Hotel. Are you good at anything? <sighs> Except that. <sighs> it's okay, there's always something to do in New York. Oof. Only we had a motorcycle.
negative. Go figure. I have no idea what's wrong with me then. I feel nauseous all the time. Um, I can't eat a thing. I know what's wrong with you, you're in love. It can't feel like this, can it? I feel physically ill. Oh yeah, I mean, that's nothing. You're lucky it only feels like pregnancy and not actual childbirth. Not yet, at least. You know what I heard somewhere? What? In film, it's rare to have two women talking about anything other than men with each other. Wonder why? That's because cinema is geared towards the male viewer. Yeah, probably. But don't you think that's a little frightening? What do you want to talk about then? Tragic. Just tragic. So there it is. Nancy is in love with Peter. Why Peter, of all people, you might ask? Oh, why does anyone fall in love with anyone anyway? If you have a good reason, then... then it's not really love. got it all figured out. We'll live in some cheap place in Brooklyn to start. I can plant green carnations on the balcony. You can do anything you want. If Nancy knew anything about New York, she would have noted that while finding a rundown flat in Brooklyn was highly likely, finding a cheap one was not. I love what you've done to your hair. Why don't we go back to my place? Ever since Peter walked into Nancy's life, she's begun to look at the world differently. With every woman Nancy saw, she thought... What did you think, Nancy? I thought about what parts of her he would like more than mine. That's what you get for loving me. That's what you get for loving me. Everything you had is gone, as you can see. That's what you get for loving me. So don't you shed a tear for me. I ain't the love you thought I'd be. I've got a hundred more like you, so don't be blue. I'll have a thousand for I'm through. 
So you're not coming out with us tonight? No, I think... I'd better stay in tonight and practice. It's been a couple days. No, no, I understand. No, I don't think you do, babe. I don't think you do at all. It's not a walk in the park trying to make it in this industry. Listen, I got a jet. You know, um, yesterday I saw Peter with, um... I... don't want to know. You know what we should do? We should move to New York together. What do you think about this one? Like colored clean cut? <laughs> For myself, of course. You call yourself a free spirit, a wild thing, and you're terrified somebody's going to stick you in a cage. Well, baby, you're already in that cage. You built it yourself. And it's not bounded on the west by Tulip, Texas, or on the east by Somaliland. It's wherever you go. Because no matter where you run, you just end up running into yourself. This whole thing is a mess. I've got a great selection. Rolex, Cartier, Omega. Hmm? Louis, Chanel, Prada, Gucci. Meet me in the parking lot after the screening. I can give you a good deal. Should be leaving from platform number three. <clears throat> Thanks for seeing me off, doll. Sorry it came so abruptly. It's just that never fall in love with a musician, Nancy. Whatever you do. You know very well how we are. Here today, gone tomorrow. It's a wild lifestyle that kills anything it comes in touch with. I am like a pendant that is difficult to fasten to the lapel of your coat. The kind that falls off easily. 
All I own is this piece of metal. Chunk of the sky. But you wouldn't know. You can't possibly know. Peter? You play the tuba. Get over yourself. And carry your own shit. Come on, Nance. Don't make it junk now at the end. I think your bus just left. Oh, fuck. <laughs> of this film, Nancy Varga. Who knows? I'd say it's not to keep important documents in your back pocket. But if you can think of a deeper meaning, let me know. Deep meaning is so boring. <laughs> I know. But tell that to them. They're still wondering where their 15 minutes went. <laughs> Thank you.